Hello, welcome back to Nick Lange's Comic Corner. Classic, class, non-classic. This is episode 175 and double shot number, I believe it's like 120, I think it is. I don't remember, I'll look it up later. Um, yeah, I've been trying to do this for a while. First up, Outsiders, The Deep, collecting Batman and the Outsiders special number one, and The Outsiders volume four, issues 15, Twenty. Now this is the first time I've ever reviewed the Outsiders, and all, and this book is what and the issue is written by Peter J. Tomasi with art by uh, Lee Garbert, Andy Kubert, and more. Now this takes place like right after the events of Final Crisis. Now you're thinking the Outsiders, why Batman the Outsiders? Well, simply put, Batman at this point is gone. Grant Morrison had him killed off during the events of Final Crisis, and simply. Uh, he attached Alfred to uh, start the Outsiders. Apparently, they had disbanded uh, in between, like the previous trade before this one. They, 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 if you want to have my issues on 14, never collect it. Volume two. Um, basically, the lineup is simply this: it is um, Black Lightning, Metamorpho, Halo, Katana, uh, Geo Force, with the addition of Alfred Pennyworth. Uh, Owlman, and the Creeper. Yes, the Creeper. Um, yeah, and their new, kind of new headquarters is this spaceship they they had briefly in orbit throughout most of this arc until it crashed. And also, you have, for the first time ever, I had never knew this happened before I read this trade, the first meeting ever, and the guy's, guy's going to be at some point or another, between Vandal Savage and Batman villain Raz al Ghul. Two immortals. I have never seen these two minutes before. And and uh, Vandal Savage has this thing on his forehead known as the Mark of Cain. He tries to get off. He, he does get off at the comic still. But yeah. This book is really good. Um, I definitely recommend anybody who is a longtime Batman fan because this kind of does help tie into what goes on with Batman as well. Um, and it has the Batman Reborn logo on it. You can see it in the corner. First couple of trades have this. Um, so I give this book a 9.5 out of 10. This book is awesome. Next, next, next up is Outsiders The Hunt. Dealing with the aftermath of, of, of an event called Battle for the Cow. Basically, why was it? Because they're locked out of the Batcave. They, they were basically hit by the Batcave in the previous arc. This arc are locked out of the Batcave, and they can't get back in because Alfred, because Batcave has just been shut down, and uh, Batman, who is Dick, Dave, Dick Grayson's point, him and Danny basically headquartered out of a building in Gotham City. I don't remember which one it was. But uh, they go after Clayface. Uh, they go after, I think it's uh, Clayface, Killer Croc, and Mr. Freeze. They go after these three villains because they escape from Arkham or some, and plus they try to get their uh, these little devices out of their heads. It's a really fantastic story until at the end of the third part when Blackest Knight rears his ugly head in. Yeah, Blackest Knight. When they hear banging on the walls, and all of a sudden, Terra, Geoforce's dead sister who'd been killed off during Ju the Jewish contract, comes back and she tries to kill him. Tries to have her and also, um, Katana's dead husband and her dead children are also Black Lanterns as well. This is also really good as well. Oh, and this collect issues, uh, 26, uh, 21 to 25. It's a five-parter. That one is a six-parter. But this is also really good. I definitely recommend it. Also written by Pierre J. Tomasi with artwork by uh, Jay Leeson. Uh, uh, it, it's by several different artists. Um, this is really good. This is just a step up from the previous book. But I definitely recommend it if you can try to track down these trades. This, this trade is like, I don't know, about 10 years old, I think it is. Uh, the trade came out in 2010, so this book is five years old. Yeah, both these two books are five years old apiece. And I get this book a 9.5 out of 10. This book is really good. I definitely recommend it. Oh, also, you have the meeting between the Creeper and uh, Killer Croc. All right? So that's it for my 175th episode of my, uh, my Comic Corner. Stay tuned for episode 176, which would be soon. I will decide what it is then, okay? See you then. Bye.